Oh, it's so hot inside. I was sweat. I sweat my edges off. Oh Lord. Um, huh? Um, I am at my official OB appointment, and um, I don't be wanting to record when people come in. They be exposed to their business and stuff. Yeah, y'all, I um, received. Hi. Oh man, this looks so rough. I received um, the envelope, the envelope, the envelope that disclosed, the envelope disclosed what I'm having a boy or girl, so. Just sit right there. I'm kind of excited. So indecisive about whether or not I'm going to wait until the baby's born or find out now but we shall see I'm excited really don't nobody will see your time I got my rollie today with me Cam just left my house y'all um that's my dude um I'm so tired I have so much work to do so when I get home you so tired too no you're not no, you're not. I am. Okay, don't yell. But um, I'll talk to y'all when I get back into the room. So, she couldn't hear the heartbeat, so they are going to do an ultrasound. I'm kind of nervous, honestly. This okay, never I'm okay. I'm okay. But I'll talk to you guys once I leave here. My heart is racing. You're okay. I've never had this happen before. Okay. So. We'll see. Right. Hopefully they'll hear the heartbeat. Sugar. Hopefully they can detect the heartbeat. I could do the because she couldn't find it. Let me hear Hey y'all. I am about to go. I'm about to go to my last OB appointment. Um, it's bittersweet. I believe the baby passed way before I even turned 15 weeks um, because the baby was measuring at 12 weeks so maybe two and a half weeks to three weeks it's been gone just when I think I cried enough <laughs> um, I'm not upset I'm more so disappointed in myself because I kind of know what caused it I don't know God's reasoning, but what I feel caused it is um, just, you know, my everyday life. I have a lot of things to do, and a lot of people was telling me that I need to relax, I need to sit down. But majority of the time, if I wasn't standing up doing my hair, I was standing up doing my kids' hair, or I was standing up cooking, um, cleaning, and stuff like that. So I really wasn't taking time out for myself. And then, majority of the time, I wasn't eating. Not only because of nausea, and fatigue but because I would forget I would forget to eat sometimes I would forget to take my prenatals but for the most part I thought that I was resting I thought that I was doing enough you know but I, I, I also know that a lot more is on me even though just because I can do everything don't mean I should and that's my problem I was rearranging rooms lifting stuff I was lifting my son because like I said, he was clingy. He, he was, you know, being clingy to me. And I thought it was just so cute. Like, I don't know, picking him up. And I know heavy lifting like is not um, the end all be all, but if you're doing it on a day-to-day -day basis and it's over bearing or whatever, it can cause stress on a baby. So um, I don't know if they can tell me the reason behind it happening or whatever. I don't know. I'm just thankful that I do not have to have a funeral. Um, the baby's so tiny. Um, being that the baby is so tiny, I don't have to have a funeral, so I'm, I'm thankful for that. And honestly, I'm not, like I said, I'm not angry. I'm just, I'm more so sad and disappointed in myself because I didn't take better care of myself. Um, and then 
Telling my kids, like, telling my kids was the hardest thing that I've ever had to do. Um, my daughter, she broke me because she wanted a little sister. And, you know, they all said prayers. And then her prayer was for God to give her, for me to have another sister. So, so I said, I don't know about that. <laughs> Maybe we can adopt. Okay. Maybe we can adopt. But everything happens for a reason. I just feel like I really need to focus on myself. Like this is just bottom line. I need to focus on myself, stay committed to that, and, you know, continue to seek out who God is or who I am through God because baby this is not his fault okay and sometimes I know it's like in the beginning I was questioning like why give me another baby you you are dang life what is the reason behind this why did you give me another baby but I had to stop asking those questions although I still think about it it's just like why give me another child after I aborted you know you gave me another child I don't understand that, but I'm okay for the most part. I'm just disappointed and sad. But I will talk to you guys once I get to the doctor. This is harder than I thought, y'all. Um, the doctor should be in here in a minute, but I just wanted to confirm that I am here to discuss my options because I really don't know what they are. Um, I have a lot of questions, so I'm going to try to record as much as I can. is raw footage of I am still carrying the baby. I was supposed to go into surgery today because that was my my first my, my first initial decision was to wait over the weekend but when he started talking I was like okay I just want to get this over with. Um, I got home and you know of course I did my research I did my YouTube research and stuff like that. Hold on let me sit y'all up Okay, y'all, I had to pause my TV because they were showing booty cheeks and all of that. But 
um, I did my YouTube research and a lot of the videos that I seen, um, a lot of the women were saying how, you know, they delivered their baby as if they would, you know, if they were delivering the baby alive. And, you know, they took pictures and stuff like that. So once I got home, I did my research and, um, you know, I did my YouTube research and a lot of the ladies, um, I never, no one ever spoke about how to deliver your stillborn at home because they say it's supposed to happen naturally. When I went in two days ago and they told me that there was no heartbeat, they said the baby was measuring at 12 weeks. So I'm 15 now, you do the math. Forgive me, this is fresh. I'm, I'm still, I'm all over the place. But, um, this is not a story time. I can't do that right now. I just wanted to give you guys a little update on, you know, the present moment, what's going on. So, I was supposed to get a DNC. I already knew that I didn't want to do it, but in my mind at the time when he told me that, you know, waiting, I could, you know, go through the labor pains and then have to get a DNC anyway so they could scrape me out. I said... Well, I didn't have to do that when I, you know, when I had my abortion. So, and of course the baby is a little bigger than it was then. It was a lot bigger. Um, sorry. Um, anyway, I decided against the DNC. And I said, I want to see if the baby, you know, will come on its own. I said, heck, I went through the labor pains with my abortion. Why can't I go through the labor pains? and deliver my baby i want to be able to see my baby i don't care how small it is i just wanted to take you guys on this journey i'm really not i'm really not talking about the situation because it's still fresh and i know i'm not going to get through this video it's like having normal conversation i could do that but talking about this situation it's hard for me so i believe i'll be able to start my healing process once I deliver the baby or once the baby gets here. Um, this morning, my daughter picked out a dress that she wanted her to wear. Mind you, my mother made this for her and she took pictures in this. This was Zoraya's dress my mother made. So I ended up giving her all the, the dresses that my mother made for her so she can, you know, use it for her baby dolls and stuff. So, um, I know the baby is gonna be about this small. And these are the shoes that go with this dress. Here's the shoe. Um, I'll probably leave a clip so you guys can see the dress a little bit better. And the shoes. Ma, can she wear this? But, um... Yeah, I decided to wait to see if labor will start on its own. And like I said, I did my research to see if anybody was talking about how they delivered at home. And a lot of people really didn't explain, except this one lady. Oh my gosh. That was the video that helped me to make my decision. Um, and normally, like when I watch videos on how to do something, if you're just explaining it and you're not showing pictures or nothing like that, then I don't want to watch it. She showed no pictures. She, sh she was just talking. And I was intrigued. So... I just, I've just been praying. If it is God's will, we will. I will give birth at home. You guys will follow me through this journey. And I'm happy to bring you guys along. But this is not it for me and my family. It's not. I feel like, married or not, when you lose a child, I don't, I'm not going to speak for everybody else, but it's like, I want another child. I really do. It hurt me when... It hurt me when I had the abortion. I wanted to feel that pain because I'm like, for one, I shouldn't have been doing it. But given my situation and not being um, educated, I was just in the state of mind of like, fuck it, for real. Um, but this time, I mean, I was going to deliver my baby with no pain medicine anyway. And for them to try to scare me and say that, oh, well, you're going to feel all the pain. That's I don't care. 
I want to see my baby. I don't care how small it is or how decomposed it may look. I want to see my baby. Um, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update. I think I'm going to try the castor oil to see if my cervix will soften up or what have you. Like I tried the, um, I'm drinking tea right now. I did a tincture, but it's not like, um, it's not like a, uh, it's a rosemary tincture. And I don't know if that's going to help, but I mean, cause you know, she's already gone, but I don't want to make, I don't want to do any harm to myself. Um, it was hard telling my kids. My oldest, it, he processes things so different. You all, when I tell y'all, when I tell him, cause he was the first person I told. But when I told him, um, actually the first person I told was my child's father. Um, and then I told Cam and then I told uh, my best friend, Giovanna. And then once I got home, I told my son. Because I didn't want to tell him over the phone. But when I told him, he was like, you know, he took a minute. And then at, later at night, when everybody, after we got done saying prayers and everybody was getting ready to go to bed, he gave me his hug. He was like, everything happens for a reason. And he paused for a little minute. He's like, well, that's all I got for you. <laughs> he was like, you'll be okay. And you know, I know everything's going to be okay. God's will. I don't want, I do not want to step in the way and ask for something that is not his will. If it's not his will for me to deliver this baby, I won't. But I just pray that I am able, you know, I'm praying that it is in his will. But if it's not, then I'm okay with that. Um, I just don't wanna do no more harm, no harm to my body. <sighs> Trying to go against his will, you know? But um, that glare is like really bothering me. But y'all see the little, this is, if y'all seen my room before, Oh my god, it was horrible. It was horrible. Um I tried to not blame myself. But then again, it's like I wish I could have ate more because I know that can be a cause of because I really was not eating, you guys. I was not. A lot of people was telling me, you know, rest, you need to rest, you need to eat. And sometimes it, I mean majority of the time it wasn't on purpose because I had that really bad nausea. And I would try to keep things down. Or like I would try to eat, should I say, but that problem with my stomach, oh it was so unbearable. It really was, and I, I still tried to eat, you know? Um, I was taking my prenatals. I mean, I was doing everything that I was I would normally do, except now I'm, I'm doing it by myself, like literally doing it by myself. Like when I had Zoe, he would be rubbing my back. I would, you know, majority of the time he would cook, you know? Um, I really wouldn't have much to do, but I would have a lot to do, enough to do, if that makes sense. Um, but I'm really, I'm doing this by myself. And just knowing what I know now, um, if this were to ever happen again, because I'm not gonna say that it's not, because I'm at that stage where it's just like, yes, I want a rainbow baby. I do. Not no time soon, of course, but I would hate for this to happen again, or I would hate not to get a girl. That sounds so bad, but then again, it don't. I don't know. And then on the other hand, I'm just like, I really do not wanna try again because this is so devastating. This is hard. This is the hardest thing. Set aside my oldest son, the situation with him. This is the hardest. I'm just thankful and grateful to God that I don't have to have a burial because I've, I've never had to bury a child. I've never had to bury a child. Even though I still have to, it's like, I don't know, you guys. Like when I had the abortion, it was just pieces of blood coming out. This is a actual baby. And it's really, 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 really tiny. And it's like, if I have it at home, do I take it into the hospital? What are they going to do with it? And I read that they take all the organs out. No, I don't want you to do that. And I know it's my decision to bury my child if I want to, because it's under the 24 week mark. I don't know what I want to do, y'all. I really don't. I've never, I'm, I don't know. I never imagined myself going through something like this, ever. I don't know. Yeah. I thought the, I thought the bird was talking to me. Yeah. And it's sitting right there outside on my, my little roof. Yes, is the baby coming today? No. No. Will the baby be here tomorrow? I don't think it knows. Okay, I'll just be patient and wait on God. But can you send him a message for me? No? Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna take you guys on this journey through the whole process. Of course, I won't be delivering in a birthing pool. I'll be delivering in a bathtub, my bathtub. So I kind of want to keep that prepared and ready just, you know, because we're more, we're more susceptible to ooh, 
I'm cramping. We're more susceptible to um, infections. You know, you're really not supposed to take a bath if your water breaks. I'm not gonna say that it don't matter because it does. <laughs> um, because I can still get infected even though the baby is gone. I can still get infected and I don't want that. So I'm going to do the best I can, honestly. Um, but yeah. Ooh, are y'all ready? Are y'all prepared? I don't even know if I am. I'm kind of, I'm excited. I'm sad, but I'm excited for this journey. I'm so nervous, like, honestly, because a lot can go wrong. A lot of good can come from this. A lot of good will come from this. And I'm just excited. I got my little pamper on, y'all. That's another reason why I'm not standing up. I have my mat down, just in case. Because being that the baby is so small, I don't know if it's going to be a lot of water that's going to come out. I don't know. Or if it's even in time. I don't know. And then, I want to say, two days prior to the 8th, 8, 7, 6. I want to say either on the 5th or the 6th. I had some leakage. It didn't have an odor. It was just wet. And I'm, I'm like, I'm, I know I'm not that wet. I'm not even feeling that type of way. I didn't think nothing of it. And it was clear. So maybe that was the water that broke. If the baby is so small. You know how you get a big gush if, you know, you're, you're full term or whatever. Close to full term. And I'm wondering if you're small and you have a miscarriage. Does it pop? Like, is it small? I don't because I was asleep. I was knocked out. I was laying on my back. I don't know. I don't know. It's so much that I'm not saying in this video because I am going to do a story time. I, I am. I just need to at least start my healing process. So I hope you guys understand that. This is real life. It's, I mean, I need help. I need help. Um, but I love you guys. And I hope y'all are ready for this journey. Everything happens for a reason. And I did for a moment. I did. I questioned God. Oh my goodness. I questioned God and I was so mad. And I'm just like, what are you mad for? The Lord giveth and he taketh. And I started reading my Bible and I want to say the book of Job. Baby, when I tell you, I cry because it makes so much sense. The devil has to get permission, okay, from God in order to tempt you. And I'm going to say he was tempted three times and um he put a curse on his life where he said that he wished he was never born and stuff like that he was like why couldn't i just be a stillborn i broke down okay and then i'm going to explain more in my story time but and then when i watched the the young lady's um video she was saying how because me and her was having similar feelings similar thoughts and she's more into her word than i am i know everybody's walk and everybody's journey is different with god but baby when she started talking about Oh gosh, what was it? Oh, when she said, um, why would you give me a baby if he was just gonna take it away? That was the, when she said that, I immediately thought about the Lord giveth and he take it away. There's a reason behind everything that the Lord does, okay? And he doesn't do it to harm or punish us. And I just can't wait until, I, ooh, I'm on my little bouncy ball, y'all. I'm trying to open up this cervix I, I really am, or I don't know I'm trying to do what I need to do in order to get her down but anyway um yeah but I will keep you guys posted updated and all that good stuff see I'm not the one you take for granted babe I know